everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll and toy related videos multiple times every week. And in today's video, I am so, so excited because we have a Hollowbright Pixie doll. Where's the doll? You might be asking. So this is an extra cool doll concept and I'm really excited to see this. This product, by the way, was sent to me by Just Play Toys, the makers of Hollowbright Pixie. And when I got that email, I cannot even begin to express to you how excited I was because I've been wanting to review this. I saw one of the commercials around the time that those were first like coming around and I was so intrigued. It captured my attention. This doll seems to be an all new concept. I've seen similar concepts, but not with dolls. So this is a virtual pet. You play with your virtual, She's well, she's a pixie, so a virtual friend. And then she can actually come out of there and then you can play with the doll. That is so, so interesting. And Just Play has done other interesting doll concepts before. So I'm watching them very closely right now. This is Style Bay. This doll came out a couple years ago, or last year actually. Um, and they're paper doll slash fashion dolls. So it's a mixture of both concepts. And I love these. I love when doll companies let the designers and the idea of people just come up with the most off the wall, interesting new things on the market. It really keeps things engaging and fun. So I'm very, very curious about this one. Do I think this is going to be the best doll in the world? Maybe not, but I don't think it's supposed to be. I think the, the the hybridization is what makes up for it. So I'm super, super excited about this. So let's take a look at the packaging. I super appreciate how minimal the packaging is. It's just, you can get right into it. So as you can see, there's this beautiful artwork of Ren, which is our pixie. I'm wondering if they're gonna do other characters. And I am so grateful that this is not a surprise gimmick where you don't know which pixie you're gonna get because this has a high retail price because of the electronic component. And can you imagine if you were trying to collect them or if you wanted your kid to have both characters or something, it would be a nightmare. So it says, virtual friends just got real. She lives both in and out of her magical lantern. So when she's in the lantern, you're playing with like a a video of her, like a, a game. She's a little character in there. And then out, she's literally a doll that you can carry around with you. I love that. I would have absolutely adored that as a kid. And I think I'm going to love it now too. And it says over 200 ways to play with your virtual pixie friend. You can dance, chat, play games. There's food. I guess you can feed her and more. And um, it says the more you play with hologram pixie, the more she visit your, visits your world. Oh my God. I have to earn the right to play with my doll. Oh, that is so funny. I just realized there's a try me button. Come out. Come out, Ren. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, she's so cute. Excellent. Oh, I love that. Oh, okay. So that was impressive. I was not, I was wondering because this was like a curved area, how that worked. So there's a screen in the back. Interesting. Okay. On the side of the box, we can see some really gorgeous artwork of Ren and it says, welcome to meditation with Ren. So that's one of the features. I'm probably going to need that. And then it says, let me look into my crystal ball. And she looks so cute. And then back here, you can see, let's be best friends. We can dance, chat, and play games. And each time Ren visits your world, you gain pixie points. Pixie points unlock games and new levels of play. And you can see a preview of your doll here. I'm a little bit curious how this is gonna do because it's not obvious immediately that this is a doll until you get to the back of the packaging, but hopefully there's enough commercials to make up for that. I did see a commercial for this while I was at Cece's Pizza yesterday. So let's play um, unbox this, shall we? I have no idea how to do so, but I do know that I want this really cute artwork for me. My Ren piece there. Okay, so I think I probably cut the plastic here. And is there another piece that I need to get? It looks like it's wrapped around twice. So you wanna get both of these pieces of plastic. Hopefully I can do this fast enough where I can actually show you how to unbox it. Um, I'm thinking there's a hidden area down here that um, sometimes bigger play sets will do where there's some kind of a thingy. I need an unboxing video. Um, I hope that this helps you. Um, I will include this part. If you do not wanna watch this part and you just wanna to get to the part where we're reviewing the doll in the game, use the timestamps below and we can skip around. Um, but you know, I like watching unbox- yeah, it's got these. I like watching unboxings and I like doing unboxings. So I'll include it in case anybody needs it. I think it'll be helpful, I don't know. Um, anyway, let's get the tape off of here. It looks like this will be a pretty painless unboxing, thankfully. I was actually nervous because I didn't see any particular place to start, really. Okay. With these sorts of things, you usually turn them and then they, yeah, they pop out. I love this. Uh, this is very clever. It holds it in really securely while also making it very easy to remove without like a ton of weird plastic ties. Oh, it's already out. Okay. So we need to get this plastic off. 
Seems like I didn't need to cut Ren off after all. Oh, look! Adjust switch to play mode prior to play. For best performance, replace with four AA batteries before initial play. And then you can see the really cute little nature background that they have prepared. And then let's... I'm gonna cut all of this stuff out on like off camera, but it's just extra pieces. So you've got a key and you've got the handle for your little lantern. I'm very curious how the um, the thing that says I can't play with my pixie unless I earn the right to. I'm very curious how that's gonna play out for this doll review here today. <laughs> um, well, I it's a whole experience review. Like I am not above playing with a like virtual pet. I love that sort of thing, and um, you know. It's fun, no matter how old you are. And, oh, she looks so cute in there. I'm really excited about this. Okay, there seems to be a tear strip, but it is not working for me, so we'll just do it the hard way. <laughs> okay, yippee, we are in. So, to get her out of here, I believe in the commercial, this, and I see a hinge here, this piece will pop up, and then she, like, pops out. Which sounds really exciting. I do see, like, a hole here. Oh, that's for the handle, I think. And then this is the little unit. Oh man, her wings! That is so cute! I need human-sized ones now. Okay, so she's currently on try-me mode, so if we turn it to on, that should be play mode. And it says adjust switch, of course, and it also says to replace the batteries. I'll see if I actually have to, because that would be a good thing for people to know before I'm gifting this to somebody. And then what is this? Does this let me, like, prop it? Interesting. Maybe that makes it, like, better to view? I don't know. All right, here is our hollow bright pixie. So I'm gonna get the camera in a little bit closer so we can actually like experience her coming out for the first time together. Guys, I'm armed with the extra things like the key as well as the instructions. So we are ready to go. So this is our bottle. I have switched the switch over to on, which is just play mode and it's on the back there. I'm gonna prop it like this, which is actually quite helpful for the filming that we're doing. And then let's turn it on. I think it's this button. Okay, I think it's actually this one. Talk to me. Oh no. Why, hello oh. there. My name is Red. This all looks wetter that you found the pixie key. I'm just worried I left it in my other lantern. <laughs> you need to light the lantern. Unlock the magic inside. Okay, so we're going to use the key. I love the voice, by the way. It's like really cute. Um, this is the pixie key. It says that it needs to be removed from Lantern to resume play. I don't know what that means. I guess we'll find out. So I'm going to put it in and then turn it, maybe? Or does it just need to be in? I don't know. Um, and it looks like it does loop on this little handle piece, which you just stick in like this. By the way. Oh. It's in. Oh, do I need to push kind of hard, maybe? Um... Oh, wow, okay. It was way more in. Okay. Where do I blow in? Oh, is this? <laughs> She's coming. Ooh, it's really hard to show. Oh, I see her. Let me, let me turn the camera around real quick. This is a heads up that for the remainder of this video, I will be coming in and out of looking at the screen in the lantern and there are flashing lights. They flash very slowly and different colors and they're not super bright. But if you think that's going to bother you, please be careful. All right. It's a little bit difficult to show you. It looks great in person. It's just now, on camera. This I is difficult. I need friendship magic to fully reveal myself. So let's get to know each other and become the bestest of friends. There are so many magical things we can do together once we have enough friendship magic. It's From cute. Oh. Food, dancing, stories, and so much more. Start off by pressing the chat button below this symbol so we can chat. It's cute that I don't get to actually see her yet. Oh, see, it's a little bit reflective. Okay, so I think the chat is the pink. What time is it in your world? I like to keep track of time so I can be fashionably late or early. Oh, okay. Uh Match pop up like this? It means you did something super special. Yay, do you have a favorite color? You guys, I messed up and I um put that it was 4 p.m. because I, I was cleaning the screen and I pressed this. So I do think, um hopefully there's a cover on this, but it, there doesn't seem to be. Um So I am kind of worried 
that in stores this could get pretty scratched up mine's just a little dirty but mine was a sample okay. it's green there it is but let's see all the colors Ooh, rainbow Ooh, that was cool look at that well i kind of want to pick that it's okay i assume you can change stuff She's lying, but it's okay. Oh, what's your animal? Ooh, okay. I wonder how many options there will be. Okay, is that a panda? I don't know what that is. Um, okay, we've got a kitty. That's probably going to be my choice, unless there's snakes or something. A bunny, a unicorn, a tiger, question mark? What is that? Um, panda again. Oh, I bet that's a dog. I think that's a dog. Um, okay, so I've got dog, cat, bunny unicorn and that thing what is that i don't know but anyway um it's a cat so that's my favorite oh that gives me all the feels my favorite animal is the silky snort bells have you heard of them they're super rare and magical what's your favorite food okay my favorite food um let's see what our options are uh, okay so we've got cupcakes we've got fruits we've got hot dogs <laughs> We've got ice cream, we've got pizza, we've got cupcake. Okay, that is a very limited selection. Um, out of these, I fear I'm gonna go with pizza. Mm, that sounds really good. Yes, it does. My favorite food is black licorice. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Everyone knows that's a troll's favorite food. <gasps> okay, one more. But what's your favorite what food, darling? I think I know. Is it Bolivia? Bolivia no, that's Colombia. <gasps> What's Bolivia? We did it. We've got enough I don't know. Magic for me to appear. Oh. And now, for the oh my God! Okay, wait. So, these digs are straight out of a pixie dream. I think that's a physical thing in the lantern, guys. Like, I think she is a hologram. So, just so you know, um, it's a trick of the camera. In my eyes, looking in the lantern, she is not that see through. Um, it's the camera that's making her look that way. And they currently just turn the lights on in there. So, it looks like inside the lantern, there is a little physical home for her. And then she is a little hologram, which makes sense. She's called a Holobrite Pixie. I Let's love her. We're going to have a dance party Let's now. Dance also, the, the glare that you're seeing is more of a thing with the camera and also because I have a pretty intense filming light on it. This is totally fine. Uh, first impression, very fun. I was engaged. I was actually sitting here paying attention, excited to meet my little friend. And I love the voice that they chose for her. And... Um, all of the little questions. I'm really bummed that I don't know the capital of Bolivia. It's going to come to me in a cold sweat tonight, maybe. Oh, look. Is that how the hologram works? I think that is. Interesting. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom back in real quick. So I'm going to hit this button, which I believe will start our dance party. Who's ready to dance? Me! Which song should you dance to? So I'm very curious how the couch is. Like, I can still see. Oh, okay, I can still see the couch. So they just turned the lights off. Okay, let's see what song we want. Okay, 
I'm going with the hamburger song. That's a bop. Okay, we've got some pop culture lingo. Ooh, okay, which dance moves? Oh my god. This is so fun. The sprinkle? The running pixie. The glitter bug? The sprite shuffle. Pixie power. Snort mouse, you mentioned that. The swish. It's a lot. That one's really funny. God, there's a lot. Say grackle, like the bird? Oh, wow. Okay, we're back to the beginning. So, I want that ballerina one. There it was. The Phoenix Soar. Nice choice, indeed. Oh, we pick a lot? Alright, I'm gonna do this. In the interest of making the review. Oh my god, this is so fun. Okay, this is extremely cute and very well executed. I had a Game Boy game I really loved as a kid where part, like, one of the features was making dances like this. It was more of an RPG, but for some reason this was part of it. And I really enjoyed coming up with the dances. So I think I would have really enjoyed this as a kid, and I definitely think this is very cute now. I, especially as you play with this over time, you get really familiar with all the dance moves, and I think it'd be really fun to dance with her too, which I think is the implication here. And again, I love her little room, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, look at her go. I love the little magical effects too. How cute is this? We had our dance party, yippee! We have to earn the doll review, you guys. He's hungry! Okay, I have to feed her. Okay, she wants pizza. Okay, so I think that's the dark pink. Oh, did I not press it? Maybe it was the blue. I think she's training me what each of the buttons actually does. So I'm curious if this is because I said, because I said my favorite pizza, or my favorite food is pizza, or if this is just always going to be the default. Um, I want, thank you for having black olives. That's what we're putting on there for sure. What? Oh. She just got me. Some people like olives on pizza, but not me. Um, mushrooms. I definitely want mushrooms on there. Oh, I love mushrooms. Thank you. Sausage. Um, okay, this is my ideal pizza. Sausage on pizza? Why was she so hateful about my olives? <laughs> I mean, Blueberry. everybody. Pineapple. Anchovy. Worms. I, should we add worms? I think not. Green I think we're good now. I think we're done. So, I think this green button. Ooh, this looks perfect. She's lying. Dang. Okay, let's do something else. <laughs> <laughs> Olive, let's yuck. Play a game okay. Press the games button below this symbol. She really got me. Um, well, I really like black olives and mushrooms on pizza. <laughs> okay, that was actually funny. I really appreciate that she has, like, oh my gosh, there's, oh, that's the other mirror. So that's how the hologram works, by the way, guys. Um, I mean, what? Um, anyway, that is how, um, let's I, sorry. play a game. I'm really, really, like, pleasantly surprised that she has her own personality and she doesn't just meld to whatever you say. Because I've had real friends in real life that will do that, right? So, a children's toy, I would honestly kind of, I wouldn't fault them for having her just be like, oh, actually, this is really good. But instead, she was like, uh-uh, I do not like this. And I really like that. I think that's really cool. And I think it's healthy to kind of model that for children. Uh, to be like, you know what, even though you really like this, I respect you, but this is nasty for me. And that's cool. Anyway, black olives are really good on pizza if you've never done it. So we're going to play a game together.
Um, oh, maybe I pressed the wrong one. Is it? It's sometimes hard to tell, but it's because I'm I have the camera here. Um, yeah, let's practice some spells. In actual like use, when I don't have I'll the camera covering the my entire spell. screen area, then it's easy. Oof. Okay, this is gonna be hard for me a little bit. I'll make it one longer. Okay. See how long you can get it right. Oh, it's gonna be like Simon says. Okay, here goes. Sweet. I think it's time to meet Ren in person. So there she is in the lantern. It's a little bit hard to see. And I guess okay, we turn it. Oh, look, look, look. No, I am ready. Come out. Yay. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh. Okay, I might have messed up. <laughs> oh. Yay. Um, the reason it didn't come out super climactically is because she's tied in right now um i assume because there's uh, zip ties here so i'm gonna cut those zip ties so we can free our doll um she should probably have told us about that no i'm kidding but like imagine as a kid like when you as the parent like you just hand this off to your kid and they play with it for a while and then they get the doll and it's like why would you come out um anyway so the zip ties are there but it makes sense you don't want her you, she needs to be in place like this um so that when the when she actually pops out it's correct, especially because the wings do that. Okay, so here she is. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, I love her little outfit too. I really hope they sell fashions. I really hope they do. Okay, so how do I free her from this? That is an excellent question. Okay, you just pop her right out. Look, here is my new Hollow Bright Pixie doll. So let me turn the camera around so we can take a closer look at our doll. So here is our Hollow Bright Pixie Wren for the first time. And I want to say very clearly here that the toy is very plainly the lantern. The, the actual doll is part of it, but the expense, because this is a very expensive playset, the price of this is for the lantern, it's not for the doll. And I want to um, make that very clear, because if you saw the price tag and then saw this doll, you'd be like, what? Um, but yeah. I'm, I don't know how much that hologram technology costs to do. All of those mirrors in there, that's what that is. It's like a hologram. That was very cool. I wasn't expecting that. I would think that it would just be some kind of screen, but it is a hologram projecting onto a clear piece in there, I believe. And then there's furniture behind her. And I really like that. I think that's really cool. So let me kind of move this aside so we can actually take a look at Ren. So my first impression right now is that I'm very impressed, actually. I wasn't sure what to expect with the doll. I really like how much articulation I'm seeing. The face is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm really happy about that. And then her wings are the issue, though, and I think there was no real way to avoid this except maybe making them out of a different material, but they're all messed up, and without an iron, which I don't think any children would use, and you wouldn't want to use that with all this plastic nearby and the hair especially, uh, it would be really hard to get these to actually look correct ever. Um, so that takes some points off for me just because of the like first impression of the doll not being as impressive because the wings were all screwed up. But you know what? It's kind of like a butterfly. It's fine. And I just worked really hard to earn these friendship wings. So I'm very, very grateful and excited. Um, this is a huge piece on her back. Um, but I think it's fine. I think it's a good part of it. And I love that they snap out like that. It's really cute. So let me adjust everything because I want to have a better light on her so we can take a closer look. Here is Ren right out of the packaging, and she is so, so cute. My issue with the wings, I don't think would actually bother any children, if I'm being honest. Um, it's fine. 
just to make that clear, I'm, I know that's a little bit picky, but you know, it's part of the experience and I'm going to point it out. I am probably going to iron these myself after this, but um, for the review, I want to show you what she actually looks like. So here's the doll. She is standing on her own surprisingly well. You do have to lean her forward a little bit though, because the, the wing mechanism is quite heavy. But um, starting off with her little face, it looks so, so good. I'm just going to give you this overview and then we'll do the in-depth look at everything in detail. And I'm really impressed with all the little painted details and stuff, which honestly, considering the budget, like, or the, the price of this doll, I'm glad that a good amount of budget at least went to making this doll look really good. I think for the design and everything, they did a phenomenal job. Like, I'm not sitting here looking at anything like, God, they, sh they really could have done way better on this. Like, everything looks fine. It is a pretty simple doll. Would I or anybody else ever spend the amount of money that you have to spend on the lantern to get this doll? Probably not, but the, the doll is not the point. Anyways, starting off, we're going to take a look at her adorable little face, and I'm very impressed. The sculpt is extremely cute. Here's the um, profile, by the way. Let me get that out of the way. There we go. There's the side profile with the cute little ear showing. Um, some of her hair has come out of the little sewn area, so I'll likely just take those little things off and see how they hold. I think that's the intent, though. I don't think those are supposed to stay there. Um, but her face is so cute. I love the way they did the eyebrows, the lips. I really like the faded look to them, even though this is a printed on face and the resolution considering the size of this doll and the scale of that print and if you zoom out just a little bit you can't even see the pixelation i don't personally mind it i really like um the it's interesting because the really big companies that use this style of face um they tend to look really bad but a lot of these smaller companies that do it like just play they look really good so i don't mind that it's printed on at all in fact i really like the amount of detail that they were able to get with this. Like, look at those eyes, so cute. And the eyebrows and the little stars on the cheeks, absolutely darling. Um, her hair is extremely soft. I'm pretty sure this is nylon. It's really hard to tell at the scale, um, but it feels very soft, like I have no issue with it. And the way that it's styled, I don't think I would take this down. Um, I think children might take it down though, um, but I really like it. It's styled into two high pigtails with a braid that goes into bubble ponytail, so. That is pretty cute. I will say her skirt will not stay on. I think it's because of the big wig mechanism. Um, let's see how gappy her hair is or if it's not. Okay. Um, for a mini doll, this root looks really good. Also, she has a really hard head. So this seems to be pretty typical mini doll rooting. So I'm not mad at it. It is pretty gappy though. So if you wanted to take her hair down, just bear that in mind for other hairstyles. Um, this is what the wing mechanism looks like, by the way, on the back. So I do think that they should have done details on the backs of the wings. Considering the price of the toy, I, I don't know, I think she's probably look presentable from the back too. Um, and especially because when you're flying, like when you're playing with a doll flying, you see the back. So I think the wings could have either been like a see-through fabric instead of white. I do like the shine though, but maybe like an organza where you could see through them, but I'm very picky on wings to be fair. Um, but yeah, they seem decently sturdy. I would worry maybe over time if you played with this, it could snap here of the plastic that was used but um that's not really the company's fault like what else were they going to use metal um folded they look like this i kind of wish they were oh <laughs> i kind of wish there was a way to keep them folded for like parts of play that might be interesting i also kind of am wishing that they um included the regular wings too that i saw her with in the in the screen but you know She's not really meant to be a doll to play with in the tradi traditional sense necessarily, but I like that you can. Okay, let's let the wings pop out now. Ah, it's going to be hard to get both to pop out at the same time. Okay, ready? Ah, <laughs> I'm trying. Okay. One, two. Woo! I mean, that's fun. I would have had a lot of fun playing with that specific feature as a child. All right, you guys, let's take a look at her outfit now, then we'll move on to the articulation. So her outfit is a top, a skirt, with pants, so a skirt, I guess, and then these boots. So simple, but very cute. And again, I really hope we get fashions. So there are some loose threads, totally fine. I'm not really that worried about that sort of thing. Just cut them. And um, mini doll scale, this outfit is pretty good. I love this material they used. We'll talk about it when we get there. But they used this, I think it's called um, PL... PLA or something. I use it for things. Um, it's just this really interesting plastic it's like jelly. It's used to make bows sometimes. And I really like it. I think it was a good choice. And then there's just this like glitter dot type of fabric for the shirt. 
for the skirt, the waistband piece is just a simple satin ribbon. And then you've got more of that jelly material. I call it jelly material um, for the skirt. And there's a pink layer, a green layer. And then underneath, sewn to the skirt, I believe. Yeah. So it's all one piece, but we have matching shorts with the top. And the Velcro on the back of the skirt, for some reason, will not stay in place. And I can't just attach it because the wings are in the way. So it's a little bit cumbersome. And I have a feeling these are going to be slipping off all the time um, when people are playing with them. So um, I don't really know what the solution for that was. Maybe like a snap. Anyway, then the shoes are pink with a green vine around them that is painted. Looks pretty good, especially for the scale. And then the bottom of the shoes painted as well in this like indigo color. And you can see that some of the paint is off the sculpt, but it's not really bothering me too much. So yeah, there's some sculpted detail that is not reflected in the paint, but they seem to be just structural details for the shoes. All right, now it's time to look at the articulation. I was pleasantly surprised when I saw how articulated this doll was because, again, I just really was not expecting it. So she has elbow joints. I'm used to this style of uh, joint on mini dolls. And then she does not have wrist joints. I kind of wish she did, but at this scale, I'm not mad about it. Usually dolls at the scale do not have a wrist joint or anything. But yeah, she looks adorable. And then she can sit. Her legs go pretty far back, which is good for a fairy. She can kind of do the splits. But her leg will kind of veer off sideways a little bit, so clearly she can't all the way do the splits. And again, that Velcro. Um, and she cannot do a middle split. Her legs, by the way, do kind of dangle. I wonder if that's intentional because of when she's flying or if that's just not how it's supposed to be. I don't know. Um, and then her head does not really tilt. It just goes around. So yeah, again, I really was not expecting her to be articulated like this. I was expecting the kind of typical five points, so I'm very pleasantly surprised by the articulation. Yippee! Oh, and then the wings, too. They're, like, attached and don't come off of the doll, unless you were to, like, really pull, I guess. So I, I guess that counts. I'm fixing to place Ren back into the lantern, and immediately I was worried, like, oh, what if I lost the doll? Would I just not be able to play with this anymore? Because the features for this mainly are the lantern, right? Like all of the games in the lantern is clearly what you're paying for. The doll is a bonus, which is really cool and makes it more exciting, right? But what if I lost the doll? Would I just have this giant thing that I can't use anymore? I'm wondering if Just Play offers replacement dolls for people to buy. I I don't know. I hope they do. Um, but I looked at the instructions and it says if you lost your doll, you can still play the game. So, yay! It tells you how to lock the pins to make it think that the doll is in there. And then it tells you how to put the wings back on so they do actually come off. If your key has broken in the keyhole, you should be able to fix that. And then if you've lost your pixie key, that is fine. You can still play with it. Um, your pixie doll cannot be released from the lantern until you've gone through the unboxing. Attempting to force key open may damage the lid, keyhole, or the key, keyhole, and or lid. So um, there is lots. And it also tells you like how to earn your points and stuff. Oh. Magic Patterns is available to play right away, but you'll need to earn enough pixie points to unlock Memory Match and switch it. So there's several different games, it looks like. So let's let's do this. It seems like there's a lot to do, and there's even more here with the instructions. So. All right, y'all. It's time to return Ren to the lantern. So it looks like you attach her wings to this little thingy. There we go. Make sure she's... Oop. Okay. Put her legs in first, then attach her. To this thingy fold her wings down and then push her back in and yeah i'm seeing that the wings will definitely always get very ruffled up from this process so okay it's a little small it's a little difficult okay she's in do you just boop okay what now <laughs> do i press the button or maybe boop. okay she's still in like i want to come on play mode so oh Yay! Wow, I had so much fun in your world. And look at this. Now that I have my full wings, our friendship magic is converted into pixie points. Okay, I was wondering about that. Now, we'll earn pixie points together, which we can spend to get cool stuff. Also earn pixie points for achievements. Let's spend these pixie points in the store. First, the press store? the middle button. The middle button. Okay, so that's this one. Okay, so that's the store. Oh, she won't let me. I wanted to show you guys the rest, but it looks like there's like a leaderboard of some sort, like for your points, and there's a volume thing. Now go to the pet store by scrolling to the right. 
the pet store? Oh, look, there's a discount. That's your favorite. Oh my god. Can they please sell that? So it looks like whatever you picked as your favorite animal will be the cheapest one, so you can get it first. <gasps> okay, wait, what was the mystery animal? Like, what is that thing? Is that a hamster? Yeah, okay, it said hamster. Sorry, um, I couldn't see that. <laughs> My camera was covering it. Okay, cool. Um, can, hey, Just Play, can, can I have that? Can you sell that? I want to buy that. <laughs> I want the cat. Sparkles? Sparkles? Heck yeah, we will. I wonder if you can get multiple cats. Is the cat not a 3D model? Is it just a little 2D? That's fine. Okay, so it looks like now we're free to do whatever we want. So I want to go to the menu and see what all the options are. So, is that a leaderboard? A store? Volume? I can change the time, thank goodness. Um, the battery? Good. What is that? Oh, that's probably factory. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Let me see. No, do not continue. Okay. I'm a little bit worried that that is so accessible to the kid playing with it because they might hit it on accident. Um, but I guess no big deal. Okay. We've got a leaderboard. I want to see what that is. Okay. It tells me my pixie points. So I am broke as you can see. So let's go back. Um, that's her house. So that's going back to, oh no, that's the store. I think it's got volume, time. Okay. Cool. I'm going to go back to the store and just see what's going on. So there's food, talking, oh, wait, what? What is the talking one? Can I buy like new phrases? Which is oh, it looks like I can earn, like I can buy new things that we can do together. See, okay, so that keeps it fun that like not everything is available immediately. So we, this is really fun, this is really cute. Okay, we're gonna leave this store. We're just gonna go back to the house and we're gonna play. Wanna play? She wants to play, but I want to do the chatting button because I don't know what that does. What would you like to do? Okay. Hear a story. Okay, we could do a bedtime story. Oh, <gasps> okay, we're getting there. Wishes and fortune meditation. I haven't earned those yet. I think that's why they're Have right. a chat. Hear a story. Customization. Okay, friends, let's get this thing set up. First, let's pick what will change. Hmm. Oh, you can customize her room, look. So this must be things that I buy. I, I wanna change her appearance. I thought that that was what I was going for. Oh, I have to press check over here. So what is that? Oh, that was to leave, I think. Okay, so I don't think I can change her actual little outfit, but maybe. Let me look in the store and see like what all is available to buy. I'm just gonna give you guys like a preliminary look. I'm not gonna do everything, everything. Um, yes, so you can change her clothes. Okay. <gasps> okay, winter outfit, safari outfit, but spelled wrong. Is that on purpose? Um, scuba, sports, pop star, party. Winter. Okay, please, just play. If you're not planning to already, please sell these. Please sell these little outfits. I want them. Okay, and then we have home decor. So that's what the customization would let us put. So lighting. <gasps> oh, you can change the color of your lighting. Window, neon signs. Window, forest, moon lantern, album cover, books, trophy, lantern. She can just have her own hollow bright pixie. A magic orb, potion, a stuffed animal. That's very cute. Lava lamp, flowers, crystal, candles, bonsai. That's spelled wrong too. I don't think it's bonsai, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, fireflies, and then back to lighting. Okay, so let's go back. Food. So is this just to feed her in general, or is this the right? to use these foods. I think it's the right to do it. So these are new food mini games is what these are. Not like literally every single time you want to feed her. Um, chatting, we already looked at. Party. So this is dancing. Okay, we buy more songs. So it's like 10 of them. Okay. Games. These are the other games. So memory match and switch it. We have to earn by playing the Simon Says game again. So I actually want to try the Simon Says game while I'm actually focused. So I feel like I need to redeem myself. So, because I was really focused on trying to get it to look good on camera, so, and it was really hard to press the button, so, oh, look how cute she is sitting on her little couch. This reminds me a lot of a toy from the early 2000s, so I really appreciate, or not the early, but, like, the mid to late 2000s that my friends had, I did not have, um, how, like, she moves around in her space. This is really fun. Aww. What's she doing? <laughs> <gasps> 
Oh, that is so fun. Um, okay, I want to play the game. Also, by the way, I turned off the filming light. This is kind of just what it looks like. Oop. I love the way she like moves around a lot. She's very chaotic though, <laughs> like she's always doing something. Okay, so we are going to play the Which game Simon Says game again. Okay. With magic patterns. Magic patterns. I know the rules. I'm gonna get... Okay. Okay, here goes. Fire! Don't set me no, up to fail, girly. This is a good start. The top of the lantern is glowing, by the way. Fire, water, fire, water. Fire, water, fire, water. Fire. Oh, was it water twice? <sighs> okay, maybe I'm just not built for this. 14, 15 points? Dang, it's gonna take a while for me to earn them. I didn't, I didn't do so hot. I'm in this. I got distracted again. <laughs> I'm telling you, the top of the lantern, when she talks, it like flashes. It's not, it's not a lantern, it's all, but it's a little distracting. All right, once again, we're getting this good gameplay footage for y'all. <laughs> Let's do this. I really like the little kickstand. It genuinely does help. There's like that little thing. Air fire. Air, fire, air. Air, fire, air, air. Air, fire, air, air. I love that big one like that. Air, fire, air, air, air. Air, fire, air, 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 water. Air, fire, air, 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 water. Was it fire or earth? Oh, um. Fire, fire, air, earth, fire, 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 I can go a long time or I screw up like that. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, oh no, I didn't want to play again. I was lying. Okay. No, you can take back. Let me go. Oh, okay. You hold it down for a long time and it will fill the to go. So you can play. Did you just fart? <laughs> Did we just catch her farting? All right. We sure could All right. We got to feed our girl. So she can only have pizza until we earn. Yeah. I'm going to make her a, a better pizza than I think she'll like. All right. Pixies love pizza. Yeah. I'm going to do like the toppings that I think. Oh. Okay. Wow. That was a better reaction than the olives. Really? No, they're not. Okay. I think that's good. Oh. Let's do. I'm just curious what she likes. Oh. Okay. Oh. I think it was the worms. Oh, she liked it. Okay. <laughs> I run the bed. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I think this is our total balance. Here we got 360 points. So, am I allowed to free my doll, like, without? I think freeing your doll gives you more pixie points, by the way. Let me test that theory. So, we're gonna... Let y'all see it. Freeing her. Will you come out? Oh! <laughs> Alright, I didn't free her well. Um, but yeah, she came out. Okay. And I think when I put her back, I'll have a bunch of pixie points again. So, you could farm this. I'm kidding. Don't tell the children that. Um... You guys actually have to play Simon Says, and you have to get good at it, too. Or Pixie uh, Elements, Spell, Writing, whatever it was called. Okay. Yeah. In. Oh. I got one Pixie point. Okay, so clearly you can't farm it. Okay, good. I was wondering about that. <laughs> um... It's 4 p.m., girl! According to me accidentally saying that on the clock. Um, let's do dance again. Oh, I should have picked chat, actually. I'm really curious about the chat. Let's do... The Stars. She loves that song. I'm just gonna pick more random ones, I guess, this time. 
I like skipping around more. I mean, this is really, there's a lot of options, which I appreciate. No, absolutely not. Sorry, girl. So we're going with no because we'd like to continue. Not now, darling. Okay. But how many pixie points did we get? Oh, you don't. Okay. Ooh, that was actually a lot. Okay, dancing is a good option. I think it's because it takes a while. I think it's by the amount of time it takes to do something. I want to see about the chat option. What would you like to do? So. So just chatting is what we have right now. I'm always in the mood to chat with you. Me too. I love if you. If you could meet a magical creature, besides me, of course, <laughs> would you want to meet a genie, a mermaid, or an ogre? Oh. Um, I'm going with mermaid, darling. Mermaids are so sweet. And they're really good singers, too. Hollow Bright Mermaid win. Hollow Bright Mermaid win. So those aren't real. <laughs> um, okay, I love it. Swimming through the ocean like that would be amazing. Oh, I picked the and sea monster. And scales are so shiny, like they're coated in pixie dust. Hello, Bright Mermaid one. This is so cute. Points. It's funny to earn points just for talking. <laughs> That is so sweet. Hey guys, so I've been playing with Run Off Camera, so this is quite a bit after I filmed the review. Um, but I just wanted to show you something. She really farts at the worst times. Um, they need to make that one less common. Um, anyway, the let me show you something because I was devastated. So I bought the new outfits in the store, and they're kind of expensive. They like 300 pixie points. So there's a mirror over here. Also, this check button means leave, by the way, so don't hit that one. But we're gonna go to the mirror, and I bought the winter and the pop star outfits, and look what happens when you tell her to change clothes. And then when you leave, that's it. So I bought an outfit for her to wear, and she just kind of takes a couple of pictures in it. That is so lame. I was really hoping that she would wear something else on the model, and they could have even... See, she does that way too often. <laughs> but that, I think kids think that's very funny. And it got me the first couple times. But, like, I, she does that way too much. Um, they need to lower the amount that happens. But anyway, um, she they could just have a thing where it's like, oh, when I come out, I only like to wear this outfit. Right? So the that wouldn't have broken the immersion to me. Because she's a pixie. Like, she can just switch outfits. So that, I don't know. That was disappointing. Anyway. Um. Bye. All right, you guys, that is it for the kind of demonstration portion of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to balance me actually talking. I love that, that she just is like, oh, and then runs away. Um, but I wanted to balance like me actually talking through the demonstrations, but also just having the footage of how it looks when you play with it. Um, I will say I'm impressed. I think there's a lot to do. It looks really fun. One thing that does worry me is that I don't see any place to like insert a flash drive or something. I would hope that there's a way to add more to this. Like maybe you could download more games onto it if they released like a little expansion set, but I don't see any place where you could do something like that. And that worries me a little bit. Also, it is a little warm down here. I assume that's something to do with the hologram thing. Um, I don't think it's going to get too hot. I've had it on for about an hour now, and this is as hot as I assume it's going to get, but bear that in mind. And it does have a warning that says it can get a little hot. So, um, this is a really, really cute toy. I think it's really, really fun. I do worry again at the price point, if it doesn't have like extra features that I can add, um, how much I can get out of it. Cause I would be really sad as a kid, if I played with this and it was like my favorite toy for like six months and I was just completely out of things to do. Now, of course I can always make a different dance. 
Um, I can always make a different, well, there's a limited amount of pizza pizzas you can make, but you know, like the, the food seems pretty endless. Like you could have fun with that forever. The dance party game and probably the other games that could come up, they seem pretty, um, fun, especially that matching game. I would have gotten really invested in that. I really like that one. Um, but the chatting, I'm a little bit nervous about running out because there are like several options for each thing, but eventually you'll have said it all and she won't have a whole lot more to say. I'm wondering if it does store what she has already said to me um, to try to offer up new things, but this is voice acted, so there is a limited amount of things that can be said. But all of that being said, this is extremely cool. This is really, really fun. I'm 25 years old and I had fun. It wasn't just like, oh, let me let me get this over with and show this. Um, I will say I'm surprised there's no electronic component to the doll at all, and let me explain. There's sometimes toys like this that the doll has, like, some kind of thing that you can identify. Because imagine if they sold extra dolls that don't come with the bottle, but when you attach them, the bottle knows, okay, that's the green-haired one. So when you put it in, now you're playing with the green-haired one in the screen. That would be really cool. And I am curious if they do release more of these. It's not going to know if you put the wrong doll in there, right? So that would be a little bit of an immersion break. Um... It would be something like when you put her there, there's like a magnet that knows, or like you've plugged it in or there's an NFC chip or something. So there's definitely a way around that. I think as a launch product, this is really fun. I really, really like it, but there's definitely some things that have me a little bit nervous, but I think as a toy for the for a kid and with the amount of jo enjoyment that I think it will provide, I would recommend this. I think it's really fun. As an adult, it depends how much you think you would enjoy the games. I thoroughly enjoyed them. They remind me a lot of the little, like, you know, virtual pet things that I had as a kid. Um, and those were pretty limited to me. This one feels a lot more engaging. And her being an actual little hologram in there is so, so fun. And the, the gimmick here of being able to remove her from the bottle... Um, oh no, I'm gonna break the key, I swear. Hmm. Does it have to be turned on? <sighs> okay, come out. So it does have a thing where it'll shut off after a while, but let's free her. Yeah, I don't know how... Am I stupid? Come on out. There we go. Woo! <laughs> There is some overlap between when she comes out and, like, you can see her in both places, but that's fine. Okay, so taking her out of here. So how are you supposed to do it safely where it doesn't risk breaking the little mechanism, I wonder? Um, there we go. Just have to be careful about it. So the doll is extremely cute, too. Um, I really enjoy her. I think as a little companion, the size of her is perfect. Uh, I think her quality is just what it needs to be to be a fun little companion and look like the character in the game. I am very curious because you can change her outfit in the game if they're going to do actual little fashions for the dolls. I would absolutely eat that up. I would buy every single one and I would love taking her out. Oh, the cat was sleeping. Did you see him? Oh, that was adorable. But yeah, being able to like add to the physical dolls world and not just the virtual dolls world would be really fun, I think. And I'm very curious where this is going to go also. I know I'm getting ahead of myself here, but can you imagine? I'm just thinking of how to make this investment worth your while in the future. Now, this is the launch, so I don't expect all of this right at launch. Obviously, this is the launch. This is the toy. But imagine if there's, like, a little restaurant playset that you can stick her into, and then she's in the little restaurant or in the little hotel or in the other pixie's house or something, and you can, like, have several different locations that she can go to. I think it would be hard to have her uh, remember things, though, between things, which is, again, why I think an NFC would be really smart for this. But as this is the technology that it has, I think it's really good. And I know that the price is very high, again, but I I, I anticipate sales prior to the holiday season for this, for sure. Um, I can also see this being very popular. It just depends how many people are going to know about it. I do think that the packaging is an ideal. I do really, really like that the kid or whoever gets it for the first time they see the doll is after playing with it in here already. I think that's really cool. But not showing that it's a doll on the packaging, except on the back of the packaging, I think is going to hurt. I think that a huge part of the marketing for this is that it's a physical doll and not just a virtual thingy, because how many toys have been something like this, right? Like literally a lantern with a fairy in it, right? So I do a little bit worry about that. Um, I'm just kind of thinking out loud right now, but 
Um, I definitely think the packaging could be worked on. I don't know how they would have the doll showing without it ruining it for the for the future owner of the thing. Um, maybe just like an actual picture of the doll on the front being like, I'm in the lantern, look at me. Um, I don't know. I'm very curious about the other chat things like the meditate game. Um, also, what happens if I try to interact with this when she's not in here? Nothing. Figured. Um, and I really need to redeem myself on that uh, matching game. I am a little surprised there's no leaderboard for the matching game to show like how I've been doing. Like how many matches did I just get? I think that that would make it really fun to like try to one-up myself. Anyway, this is very, very fun. I'm seeing a lot more room for her to be more interactive. And I really, really hope that they get through this holiday season and are able to expand her world because I'm very impressed. This is really cool. So again, for adult collectors, like I know my audience is, it really depends on you and what you enjoy doing with your dolls. But I, the way that I enjoy my dolls and the way I enjoy virtual pets, I'm in. I love virtual pets. You guys know I play a ton of virtual pet games. Um, this is very fun. I know it's weird to call her a pet, but that's the genre of toy this is. It's really fun. It's really fun. It it provides something new. It feels different because of the hologram situation without just feeling like it's a gimmick that'll pass. And having the physical doll makes her endlessly replayable because even if you exhaust everything and you're bored of this, you still have the doll. Now, I don't know. They couldn't have really made the lantern any bigger because for the age group of children, the youngest demographic that this is for, they need to be able to hold this without it falling and breaking. Um, which it seems like it's pretty sturdy. Like this is a pretty thick plastic. I don't think it would break. Maybe some internals could break. Um, although the I'm pretty sure those mirrors are actually just stickers. Also, I'm looking at the mirror right now and I don't know if... Oh, I think those are reflections. Hold on. I think I saw fingerprints on the mirror and was like, uh... No, I think those were, okay, yeah, they were reflections of my fingerprints on the actual screen there. Um, but you can see the mirrors. So the mirrors, there's some kind of projector somewhere, and then it bounces off the mirrors and then applies it to the actual little screen. And I can totally see her little furniture in there. This is pretty cool. I think this is really fun. I definitely see a lot of room for this to expand in the future. I'm just really sad that they don't seem to have planned ahead for that. Um, and maybe I'm mistaken and there is some area that you could do it, or maybe it has some kind of wireless feature um, that I don't know about. But... I think it would be really, really cool if maybe the second generation of this thing or the second batch of this thing has some kind of plug for the future, some kind of little cord that it comes with in case you want to hook it up to another one, or maybe it is Wi-Fi again. It would probably be some kind of wireless connection, but yeah, I think this is a hit. I think this is going to be a hit. I think it's really cool. I think if you're looking for a present for a kid and the price isn't too deterrent, I think that this is something that would be cherished for a long time and I think it also works for many demographics I think from like the minimum age demographic so kind of early elementary age perfect and I think this could even work for like up to even a tween honestly I think I think this has a wide range of applicability I do definitely think it's steering younger the way the pixie talks especially makes me think it's steering quite a bit younger but I think this would be fun for many ages including my own so yeah that is it for this video. I would love to know what you guys think of this, especially if you're somebody who buys dolls or toys for children. Um, what do you think of this? Do you see anything that is a potential issue that I don't? Um, I don't think a kid necessarily has to believe that this doll is the character in there. Um, I do like that they played ahead and said, I'm just not able to talk outside of the lantern. Like the lantern gives me the magic that makes me talk. I do like that they kind of poke at that a little bit. Um, I don't think you need to have full immersion or your disbelief to be fully suspended to enjoy the toy. And I will say, while I'm playing with her and she's talking to me and stuff, like, it doesn't just feel like, hee hee, I'm playing a children's computer game. It, you know, there's some immersion to it. And I think that's really cute. I think it's really, really fun. I do wish there were more things that I could input, though. Like, she asked me a couple of my favorite things, like my favorite animal and my favorite food and stuff. And she's asking me other questions in the chat, but I don't think those are going to affect anything. Like, if she asked me the season's question again and I say summer... I don't think she's going to be like, uh, you said something different last time. So I'm just kind of thinking out loud. I think there's definite room for this to expand and grow into a whole thing. I'm just imagining like there was a toy like this when I was a kid. I'm kind of blanking on the name and I don't want to get it wrong, but you could combine. And there was a like boy and a girl demographic version of it. I don't know if they were the same company, but you could combine them. And then your character, especially in the, it was like an apartment you could build and your character could actually travel between the different rooms and I think, I never had one of these, I had a friend that did, and I think there were multiple different ones, and they could wander between all of the rooms. 
I could definitely see that being viable here, especially with a wireless or an NFC capability in this. Um, and it would make it so much fun. Like imagine you have the green Holobrite Pixie next to this and you've indicated that you're okay with them intermingling and the green one just appears on this screen too. That would be really, really fun. I, th I think that would be really, really fun. So yeah, this is a really cool technology. This is a really cool toy. Everything put together is really, really cool. And I really enjoy this. I really hope we get other things for the doll though. I want like a little dollhouse for her physically too. Like imagine how easy it would be to market like, oh, this is her little bed for when she's out and wants to have a sleepover with you because she keeps mentioning it. Um, you could buy her the slumber party accessory set to put on your nightstand so your Hallbright Pixie can sleep next to you. Like little things like that. Hire me, Just Play. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Uh, me and Ren are going to play some more, but you guys don't, you guys don't get to see all of our moments together because we're friends. And it's not just for YouTube. All right, that's it. Thank you so, so much to Just Play for sending me this doll to review. I really wanted to get one, even if it wasn't for reviewing. I was very curious about these, but I was kind of thinking, oh, I don't know. I, 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 I do really want her, but I don't know if I can justify it. I was kind of hoping for a sale. So when they absolutely shocked me and just cold emailed me, um, asked me to review this, I was so, so excited. And I really appreciate that. That was really, really special. And I'm just really excited to have gotten to demonstrate this for you. And I hope I did a good job making it look really fun. It's a little bit difficult because the, the hologram technology makes it really hard to film it. So I tried to give you a good balance of making it actually look good, but also make it where you can see what's actually going on. Um, so hopefully I, I don't know, I don't, I'm not used to reviewing stuff like this in particular, like this game thing. So I'm sorry if it came out a little bit jilted and awkward. Anyway, that's it for real. Thank you guys so much for watching for all this time. Bye.